Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, paid a visit to the general headquarters of the BDF. He was welcomed upon arrival by Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Minister of Defense, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, and senior officers. His Majesty lauded the success achieved in the previous training season and the imminent start of preparations for the next training season according to the advanced plans to continue boosting competencies and capabilities. His Majesty the King praised the steady advances in the practical and theoretical training of the BDF and congratulated the graduates from Bahrain and other countries of the 14th Joint Command and Staff course at the BDF. His Majesty also praised the remarkable competence of the BDF staff and commended their outstanding valor and courage in all the tasks entrusted to them and stressed that they are always up to the responsibility and merit trust and appreciation. His Majesty the King wished the valiant affiliates of the BDF success in their various positions in Bahrain and abroad. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, in the presence of BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received the head of the BDF Hajj Delegation Colonel Religious Guide Ali Yusuf Al Bainin and a number of officials in the delegation that will soon leave for Mecca. His Majesty praised the great services and care offered to pilgrims by Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud. His Majesty praised the contributions of the BDF in all noble and humanitarian fields and the provision of the best services to its members. He extended his best wishes to all pilgrims from Bahrain and all other countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued promulgated Law 30 of 2022, amending provisions of Law 21 of 1989 on associations, social and cultural clubs, special committees working in the field of youth and sports, and private foundations following its approval by the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Speaker of the Council of Representatives for the Zain Al Qadibiyya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's vision in guiding Team Bahrain's efforts in supporting the Kingdom's progress, which places citizens at the core of Bahrain's development. He noted that the ongoing cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities is a model of optimal teamwork and excellence, which supports the Kingdom's continued development. He recognized the achievements yielded through cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities and he thanked the members of the legislative authority for their cooperation throughout the fifth legislative term. His Royal Highness commended the pivotal role played by the Council of Representatives and Parliamentary Diplomacy in further strengthening Bahrain's relations regionally and across the world. Zainal expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's commitment to supporting the partnership between the executive and legislative authorities which benefits citizens and residents. She stressed the value of joint efforts in achieving the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty the King. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the group CEO of Vital Russell Hardy in the presence of the Minister of Oil and Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Daina, and the CEO of Babco, Dr. Abdurrahman Jawahari. His Highness affirmed that the energy sector receives the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which contributes to achieving the Kingdom's development goals. He stated that Noga 
holding continues its endeavors to increase investment in these vital sectors in accordance with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. He noted the importance of exchanging expertise and bolstering cooperation, as well as increasing initiatives aimed at promoting investment in the oil and gas sector, highlighting the many contributions that the kingdom made in the past period in developing the sector. His Highness discussed with Hardy means of cooperation and partnership in these fields. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al naimi has endorsed the academic results of intermediate and secondary school students. The success rate for general education in the secondary schools was 97.3 percent, with 2,977 students achieving a score of 95 percent or more. The success rate in technical and vocational education was 87.9 percent, with 56 students obtaining at least 95 percent. Intermediate students had the highest score with a success rate of 98.34 percent. Dr. Naimi expressed gratitude to His Majesty the King and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for their support. He congratulated the students, parents and teachers for the high success rate and praised their efforts throughout the academic year. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met with the Parliamentary Vice Minister for Foreign Affairs of Japan, Honda Taro, as Bahrain and Japan celebrate the 50th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations. The Minister stressed Bahrain's keenness to boost cooperation with Japan in various fields, especially with regard to the economy and investments, in a manner that reflects the depth of the close relations between the two countries. An agreement to encourage and protect investment between Bahrain and Japan was signed. The Minister stressed the importance of the agreement to consolidate economic and investment cooperation between Bahrain and Japan. The agreement aims to provide an appropriate investment environment to enhance activities by investors in Bahrain and Japan, encourage investment between the two countries, and highlight Bahrain as an attractive investment destination for Japanese companies. The Minister of Oil and Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Dayna, received the Vice President of Industrial Services at Saudi Aramco, Chairman of the Supreme Advisory Committee of the 6th Middle East Conference and Exhibition for Maintenance and Reliability 2022, Fahad Abdel Karim. The Minister praised the efforts that contributed to achieving the distinguished success of conferences and events organized by the Gulf Maintenance and Reliability Society's administration in cooperation with the Bahrain Society of Engineers and added that the conference aims to exchange knowledge, experiences and high aspirations and inventions and showcase the latest technologies in this field. During the meeting, arrangements and preparations for this global event were reviewed. The minister listened to the most important events accompanying the conference and stressed the continued support and assistance to such important events in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which will contribute to strengthening the Kingdom's position as an important center in attracting various events. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Ramehi, met with the CEO of the Urban Planning and Development Authority, Nof Jamshir, in the presence of a number of officials in order to review the latest developments in the implementation of the projects of the Urban Planning and Development Authority. The Minister stressed the importance of exerting more efforts during the next phase to implement plans, programs and projects, especially in the field of urban planning, in order to achieve the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King and the directives of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. She added that the Kingdom of Bahrain has set the goal of developing urban planning in line with the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. During the meeting, the authority's digital transformation plan was also discussed.